guys, welcome back to Gamerdupe. Today we are discussing the Microsoft E3 conference of 2019. So these are our thoughts. Let's jump over to Jordan. Okay, so we're going to go through it. We'll go through all the games. Uh -huh. I'll give a little bit of information. I'll chuck it back and forth to all of us, see how we're feeling. And, and then at the end of it, we'll kind of just wrap up and see how what we thought of the overall conference mm -hmm. and what we think they did good, what we think they did bad, and what we wish was better. But the, they come out and they started with Outer Worlds, which is the game play trailer they showcased. And it's a sort of story overview. And it has a release date of October 25th, 25th 2019 mm -hmm. i think this is a pretty bad trailer i don't think the game's gonna be bad no. the game is interesting but i think it was a weird trailer and a weird way to start mm -hmm. but i know that microsoft has acquired the studio i'm blanking on their name that developed this but microsoft has acquired them as obsidian mm -hmm. but they are some of the creators of fallout that have moved on to their own and now we're working on this Outer Worlds game. What about, Jade, did you like this trailer? Did you not? Um, so it gives me kind of Bioshock vibes yeah, uh, yeah, in, a... in this trailer, at least. With Fallout, obviously. You yes, with a mix of influence. Fallout, for sure, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know too much about it, but um, I'm hoping that it'll be a great game. What about you, Nick? Do you... Do you feel for this one? But yeah, personally, it, just, it pretty much just looks like um, Fallout in space. Mm -hmm. Look, look, gameplay could be good, but yeah, I don't think it is the best trailer. Yeah. But um, but yeah, it's just it's banking on that kind of 1950s camp. Mm. It just looks like to me, yeah, all out in space. Yeah, I think the game will be good, but mm, I didn't. I, this trailer did nothing for me personally. Okay, so the next game that Xbox had shown was uh, the announcement of Bleeding Edge. This is a new game by Ninja Theory that I think is exclusive to Xbox, and it's a 4v4 multiplayer game. Mm -hmm. It has a Borderlands mix with Overwatch kind of style yes. here. And it's not what you would expect Ninja Theory to do, but this, I did get leaked prior. We had a leaked promo art of these characters. But I, I, I like the trailer. A lot of people will kind of, I think they got a bit of whiplash because it's like they did Hellblade and this is the next game. Very un Hellblade, like an un Ninja Theory like in a way. But opposite, yeah. they are great with combat. They did DMC, which was. A lot, a lot of people hated, but the combat there was awesome. I really liked the game, so I'm excited for this. We didn't really get a big chunk of gameplay here. It was more like a sizzle of the characters and them doing some things. It looks like it's very melee based, obviously. But th then there's also Gatling guns and so much things happening. But yeah. I think it looked really fun. I liked this. I liked the vibe. It's it's unique enough that I think it stands out and I want to know more about it. So mm. I really thought it looked great. What about you, Jay? Do you like Bleeding Edge? What did you um, think about it? Yeah, I could I could see myself giving this a go. Um, mm. It kind of... It's very heavily inspired by Overwatch, yeah. I feel. Like, yeah. I I see it and I almost see just DLC characters for Overwatch mm. or something. But, but it does look really cool and kind of does have its own flair and the character's have some weird things about them that i haven't seen yeah. the in, movement in looks good yeah you know like yes, the way that they're sort of the the snippets of the melee combat look mm. super unique in my opinion yeah but, no totally yeah. um i'm excited to see what what um what it's going to look like in the actual gameplay what about you nick do you have much thoughts on it yeah it's definitely not the style of game i thought they were going to do mm. um but i'd be willing to give it a chance it looks interesting combat looks great um some creative cool stuff like the flame frog coming out of the guy's yeah, that was mouth really like, cool. there's some really cool unique so designs strange, yeah yeah but no, i think it looks good enough and combat looks fun yeah and the old lady like, that old granny has really long fingers yeah she naughty. <laughs> yeah she's and then Microsoft immediately jumped into another look at Ori and the Wills of the Wisp, if that's what it's called. But I thought this was awesome. They sort of, we usually see a more slow paced trailer for Ori here, but instead, this is like a boss sizzle. It shows us like all the boss encounters and they look epic here. This looks awesome. I'm so excited for Ori. I love the original and this one looks absolutely beautiful in its visual style and art direction here. The bosses look epic as all, oh, as all hell. I'm super pumped for this. What about you, Jade? You didn't play the original, but this no, kind of looks like a game that you would I've love. I've seen video. I've mm. watched uh, gameplay of the whole original, but this genuinely scares me. Like, mm. oh my God, these um, bosses are really scary. They are so well done. Yeah. They look terrifying. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm good enough at these kinds of games to give it a go, mm. but uh, it is beautiful. And I, I will definitely watch if I don't play. 
Yeah. What about you, Nick? Do you do you, do you like the look of Orion oh. and Wizards of the Wisps? Yeah, the art style is drop dead gorgeous. Like it's, yeah. it's it looks fantastic. I also get a bit of like a Hollow Knight vibe from it. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, minutely, like a Hollow vibe, a Hollow Knight vibe. But um, I, I think it looks a lot of fun. It's definitely one I'm going to pick up. It looks, yeah, looks great. And also, it has a release date. Of February 11th, 2020. Yeah. It's not, it's not too far away. It looks great. Polish it up because Ori 1 was fantastic and this one looks like it's just further in that and building on what was already a great experience. So yeah. I'm super excited. And then they jumped into Minecraft Dungeon. What, what? And, and it was a gameplay trailer. I thought it was a weird trailer in the way that it starts right. And mm. they're showing... I don't know. What, what are the Minecraft men called? What are the people called in Minecraft? Block Dude. <laughs> Block, Block Dude. Block Dude was like... He, he seems like he's fighting his way around. And then they had, like, this reveal, like, oh, three other people come. It's like, I, I assumed it would be four-player co-op by the look of the yeah. game. So it was, like, yeah. a, it was a weird thing of, like, them trying to, like, flex on, like, oh, it's also four-player. And then at the end, they have the sort of wizard dude come up and pop, and it's like, four-player co-op. It's like, yeah, I, I, I didn't think that, that was too surprising, to mm. be honest. Yeah. I didn't think this was going to be a single-player game anyway. Yes. But that's just me. Nick, I know that you are a big fun Minecraft fanatic. Mm. How do you feel about Minecraft Dungeon. Yeah, look, it looks cool enough. It's still kind of got that clunky Minecraft combat mm. in it as well, but I think it's a good change and it's a good game mode for people to jump onto uh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, and also no signs of building here, yeah. which no. interests me. I thought they were going to yes. get like, I was like waiting for the, where's the light building mechanic coming in here, mm. you know, but they didn't seem to showcase at all. Yeah. It does look like a dungeon crawler through and through. Yes. Jade, are you going to delve into the world of Minecraft in dungeon form? Yes, I think I will. Oh, you I, will? I really oh. enjoyed Minecraft. I played it a lot when I was mm. younger. Um, during class in school, don't do that, kids. Mm. Um, <laughs> but I did. Um, and yeah, I can really see myself uh, giving this a go. I think I'd be terrible at it, but I'd give it a go. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm excited for you to jump in Minecraft Dungeons and just be cross-eyed and play it for a couple of hours. That'd be fun <laughs> for you. So... <laughs> <laughs> have fun with that um thank you they then <laughs> jump into a trailer of we seen jedi fallen lord or the ea play mm-hmm. and they showed a gameplay segment mm-hmm. and then here we kind of just get a bit of a a bit of a it's like a sizzle trailer and it showcases what was apparently seen at e3 judges week and they showed a different segment of gameplay which is before the demo starts so i thought this looked better than the gameplay demo they shown, mm-hmm. which was surprising to me. I love the sort of moss on the AT-80 walkers, yeah. if that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah. And, and the I sort like of the scale of them yeah. too. It's very pretty. Looked really cool here. I thought this looked better. I'm not 100% sold on this game still, surprisingly, mm-hmm. even though it has a fantastic developer behind it. Not EA, or that's the publisher, but the Respawn are really great. Also, I should say that this is coming out the 11th of November. 2019 what about you nick did you like this trailer did it do anything for you yeah it was pretty much more just like a a more snippet of what we've already seen so it was just like a little bit more of a taste um but yeah look the at 80 walkers was pretty cool the scale of them climbing up and stuff as well yeah but um yeah it's fine like like you said i'm willing to be one off by this game not too much comments on it at the moment but until Mm. i get my hands on it that's when i'd have my my main comments yeah, what yeah. about what about you, Jay? Do you, do you like the look of this? Is this this doesn't really look like a kind of game that you dig? I definitely wouldn't pick it up, hmm. but um, I mean, it seems like something people are going to enjoy. It's got the typical cute side character, hmm. main character, um, seemingly open world, but kind of clearly not. It literally drives you in in one way. That's and, what it looks like, yeah. Yeah, right, so yeah. I think it's going to be very digestible for a lot of people, and everyone seems to be very excited by it. I just it's not for me i don't think yeah i would talk about it more in the discussions but i definitely that, that that's mainly my problem is it just looks too generic star wars i wanted to yeah. see something more unique mm-hmm. here we had a, a cancelled star wars game and look that might have been terrible behind closed doors but i liked the take that they looked like they were going with it looked a bit different here but as you said there's a robot companion and you're a, you're a person learning to become a jedi it looks too paint by the numbers but it's we'll get into it definitely yes. the formula, yeah but yeah. we'll get into it in the discussion i don't want to dwell yeah, too much yeah. over that's here me, yeah. The next thing that we see was a, a definitely an interesting one that I threw us off guard. I initially thought it was an Outlast 3 mm. or even oh, yeah. a, a Resident Evil 8 or something, but it ended up being a Blair Witch game. It had a CG trailer and it has a release date of August 30th. And I'm not going to lie, they had us in the first half because uh, yeah, I really yeah. liked the trailer. Up until it started to show more gameplay and it mm. kind of lost me a little bit. I don't think this is going to be a great game. I just yeah. don't. I, I, I hopeful it's made by I think it's made by Bluebus Bluebus Studios which do okay. Layers yeah. of Fear too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And 
they're really talented. I like Layers of Fear 1. Yeah. I like they did one, I think it's Observation, which was very well received. Mm. And they did Layers of Fear 2, which yeah. I liked a lot. So mm. I'm hopeful. It looks it looks fine to me. I'm, I want to see more. What about you, mm. Jade? I get scared really easily. And I love the idea of Blair Witch and especially kind of with like your, your dog like running ahead. And mm. you're like, no, no, come back. Um, but this no, no, come back, <laughs> no, doggy. Um, but this kind of just like red screen, and then something pops up. I don't know. It's not very scary to me. Mm. I think it'd be more scary if it was just dark figures um, in the corners that mm. you can barely see, and they just look slightly off. But there's these like glowing red beings that mm. I don't know. It doesn't really scare me, and I'm very easily scared. Mm. So. Yeah, Nick, do are you gonna? Yeah, originally I fought Xbox Creepy Forest Alan Wake. I thought this was an Alan Wake game. Yeah, a lot of people kind of, kind of said that. Yeah, definitely. I speculated. I thought I was like, oh, this must be like an Alan Wake game. But mm. um, yeah, had us in the first half. Spooky, creepy, and then we have a giant bleeding tree, a teleporting like mm. lightning dude. It's like, yeah. nah, you, lo- you, you, you lost me. Not lost me, but I could give it a go. But definitely this game, I thought it was what it wasn't. And then when it turned it to be what it was, I was like, yeah. Hmm. Kind of disinterested now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. On to one of the bigger moments. Cyberpunk 27, 2077 revealed a new CG trailer, like a story overview trailer. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to delve too much into it because we will talk about it in Separate another discussion me. video. Yeah. But um, they revealed Keanu Reeves, <laughs> which is cool. And yeah. um, Keanu is back. The Keanu Sons, or is that what they're calling it? The Keanu Sons. Oh, the Renaissance. Like, like, yeah. Like a Renaissance? Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like he's coming back, you know? It's, he's back in fashion. He's and, never um, been out. No, he was out. <laughs> He was definitely out. 47 Ronin tells you otherwise. <laughs> but it's coming out on the 16th of April 2020, I believe. I might have got the date incorrect. Yeah. I was writing them on the fly. But I think that's a good date. I thought they were going to try and push for 2019. I'm glad to see mm. that they're not going to crunch Let and it go for take it. it. Yeah. And also, you know, we have heard some things about The Witcher 3. It's like they crunch really hard. They work their asses off to get their game out. And it's like people can wait. Like yeah. we're happy to wait for a great game. And having a 2020 release date, hopefully you can give them that breathing room of not having to kill themselves to get this game mm. out. Because it looks like a massively ambitious yes. experience. Mm. So I'm excited to see that date on there. What about you, Jade? Did, you, did Keanu do it for you? Yeah, he's, he's breathtaking. <laughs> he's breathtaking. Yeah. I, I seriously am obsessed with him, but um, even prior to this, but I just think this game has a lot of potential. So I think it's good for them to take as much time as they need. Hmm. Um, and I don't fully understand the story or situation, but hmm. um, I, but I think I could be very enticed um, once they they get on their feet and they really. Show us closer to the time. Show us more Keanu. More Keanu, more and then Keanu. I'll be sold, and mm. then I'll buy it. What about you, Nick? Are you gonna hang out with Keanu in the cyberpunk world? Oh, oh every time. Just have some beers with my bud. <laughs> yeah, Keanu <laughs> doesn't. Yeah, Keanu doesn't drink. No, he's a wholesome boy. Oh, he's so yeah. good. Yeah, he might do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know about Keanu Reeves. But but um, yeah. Look, it was a cool CG trailer, but I was hoping to maybe see some more gameplay. Mm. Um, but I yeah. think the idea of the no gameplay here was. They've showed a, a big chunk of gameplay on YouTube. They did. Last year. And I think it's like, there's a lot of hype for Cyberpunk. People are expecting this to be the yeah. next big thing. And I don't think they want the hype to get away from them. Yeah. You know, like to hype it no. up too much and show these games. I think they want to... Yeah, yes, I think they want to head... And also, try, like putting together a demo, a lot of people get so hard. Like, I want to see gameplay. I want to see this. I want to see that. Mm. It takes a lot of time to put these demos together. Oh, and yeah. get them in a playable state that is good enough to show... And if you put it that well done, people are going to expect that. And mm. I think that CD Projekt Red did a really smart thing here, which is let's just put our heads down and work and hit that release date the best we can. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Keanu Reeves, while you wait. That's not a bad, that's not a bad offer. No, yeah, absolutely. Exactly right. But we'll move on. Any other closing thoughts? Um, I love you, Keanu. Mm, okay. Move on. <laughs> yeah. Um, So we had a reveal of a game that I thought looked adorable and was a good, nice breath of fresh air for the conference, which was Spiritfarer. It had a gameplay trailer and it looked really cute, but also looked like it was kind of touching on death and things in interesting ways. You're building a boat. You're basically Noah's Ark, but taking, like taking, I guess, yeah, taking all the animals. But um, what uh, Jade? I'll jump to you because I feel like you kind of like mm. lost it for this, this one. This is my kind of game. Mm. I I reckon. Um, it looks so up my alley, and I love how it's this cutesy kind of style with darker themes underneath. That's mm. just that screams me, and mm. I'm so intrigued. I think it has a really enticing idea of mm. your connection to these creatures that maybe they don't exist, maybe they do. I'm not sure what the story maybe is. Maybe they're dead. 
Yeah, maybe mm. they're already passed. Um, mm. I am so... Maybe you're dead. Maybe I'm dead. <laughs> it could be anything. I'm so ready to buy that. I'm 100%. I'm sold already. I'm done. But yeah. <laughs> Nick, do, do, do you, are you going to jump into this world and play with some animals? Yeah, definitely. It looks like a very charming game. And I like the themes that like death and mourning and moving on hmm. but yeah i think it looks like a charming game and i think it's going to have a good story to tell it looks very melancholy i like it does, i like yeah. the vibe i'm really excited for this i reached out to the developers on twitter and just said hey congratulations, congratulations. this game looks awesome yeah and you got a big showcase and some games get buried indie mm. games can get buried in the bigger games for they me stood out but look we'll move on because <laughs> they're back it's battle toads mm-hmm. and i don't care <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not a Battletoads guy, but I, I'm sure a lot of people are really excited for this. But, you know, those kind of people are people that I won't want to associate myself with. <laughs> no, I, I look, it looks cool. There's a there's a toad called Rash, and this game is a rash on society. I don't really want to see it come back. It's a pimple that we should just get rid of. Um, I, I'd give it a shot. I generally do like these kind of beat-em-up games, and I want to fling my tongue at people. That's cool. Yeah. What do you, what do you, do you guys have yeah. much to say about Battletoads? It looks pretty funky. Yeah, and I never really played Battletoads when I was younger or anything like that. But, yeah, it looks funky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Go away, Battletoads. No, no one <laughs> We've cares. Had enough. Just <laughs> then we got a really weird trailer, which was Legends of Right, I think it was. And I don't even know what I was looking at. Yeah. It was like, it was cool. I think it looked really cool, but I don't know if it was gameplay or what was going on. Yeah. And, um, Couldn't tell. Yeah, you were sh- shooting cardboard guns and beating up buff dudes. And then you had saw. It was weird. It's like paper mache game. Yeah. Rip. What is it called? Yeah. Rig Time. The Legend of Right. It's coming in 2020. I don't yeah. think this is a weird trailer. Like if you, I feel like that kind of game we need to get more. Yeah. You need to kind of preface I don't what know it is what, a little bit more. Mm. What's happening there? Yeah. But then we had an indie game montage mm. that played, and they showed a lot of cool indie games. Um, Felix the Reaper looked really cool. I really like that. Yeah. So he was. He's, he's I dug da- his dance moves. He yeah. danced, danced his way into our hearts, <laughs> and that was cool. But um, Secret Neighbor's already been out for a while. I guess just not on Xbox. Mm, but. Yeah. Um, don't tell Xbox that. They're trying to say it like it's a new game. So yeah. don't, don't tell anyone that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a new game according to everybody <laughs> else. No, nobody knows indie games, so they pop them out like, hey, this is new. And it's like been out since Only 2002. Yeah. 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 It was an indie game montage. A lot of great games here if you want to go check it out on the Microsoft. We're not going to go through all of them, but yeah, there's some great looking do. ones here. So mm-hmm. then they jump into Xbox Game Pass discussion. They got mm-hmm. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is fourteen ninety nine, which is the exact same price, mm-hmm. and you can get PC cross compatibility and things like that. And then they had like deals of one dollars. All of this is great. We had yeah. new games coming, whether it's mm-hmm. Metro Exodus and all these things. Xbox Game Pass is great. People want to kind of boohoo it because it's like, oh, whatever. Xbox is just trying to do this, not making big games anymore. But regardless, it's a great, it's a great deal here. Yeah. It's the and way of the future. The subscription. Xbox did it first. All the other su- subscription services coming out are kind of annoying at this point, but I I, I really like what they're doing with mm. Xbox Game Pass here. Mm. Do you guys have? You guys don't play Xbox. Do you have much to say about I it? I still. Uh, like I, yeah, it's it's a good addition to it, and yeah, I, only, I, I think it's fine. I only had the 360 growing mm. up, yeah. but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, Game Pass is is great for just getting your hands on a bunch of different games mm. you wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of getting your hands on things, we then jumped into what was the hypest trailer for the biggest disappointment <laughs> oh in my, my opinion. Oh my god, yeah. Like, it's like, I was like, they started and I was like, man, this is like what the that? Avengers Infinity War trailer. Like, so- the world is spinning, the music is yes. blaring. Something this, big's happening. Yeah, this is captured in 4K and I'm like, powered by satellite data and Azure AI. I'm like, what is this What's game? What's going on? And it was a flight simulator. Like, <laughs> yeah. But look, hey, people... Look, it's a big deal. People that like that, sure. Looks, I, I would give it to it. It looks stunning. Mm, like, it definitely does. You know what? Like, seriously, like, it does look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That but that's really all nice. I have to say about it. It looks pretty. I'm not going to play it. I wouldn't but buy it. Another one that was, I guess it's a cool thing, but Age of Vampires 2 Definitive Edition. They showed a gameplay trailer. I thought it looked cool. I, I, I liked Age of Vampires. Yeah. I don't mm. I don't want to see it at a Microsoft conference necessarily, but yeah. it's here. And it's coming to Xbox Game Pass, Windows PC. So Yeah, I think I've played a PC version of it, but it's... um. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, what is a PC franchise? Yeah, you know? originally. But, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Uh, did Nick do you care? No, I, when I was younger, I liked RTS games, mm. but I don't think current today I'd play it. Yeah, young Nick had bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the peak, besides Keanu, they brought out Matt Booty. Booty! Oh, Matt, the, boot. the best name in existence. Mm. The Booty came. I didn't... I thought that was like a joke at first, and I was like, oh no, he, his name... It's Matt Booty, <laughs> head of Xbox Game Studios. Brilliant. Hell yeah! They brought out the booty <laughs> to, to, to bring out. We I like we we like were clickbait. forty minutes into the conference at this point, and they were like, "What do we got? We gotta wake them up. <laughs> People are sleeping. We gotta wake them up. Bring out the booty. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring out Matt Booty. 
bring out Matt Booty, and he did his job. He did something really cool, which is they acquired... They showcase that Microsoft Studios have acquired Double Fine. They do games like the Psychonauts and yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Brutal Legend and things like that. They're great. It's an awesome announcement. But he didn't do his job. He didn't get his booty out. No, oh, he's not an object. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, when, that's when you buy Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And then they showcase Psychonauts 2. Yeah. Looks cool. It looks that's more. It's a huge deal for a lot hmm. of people. Like, Psychonauts, the original, was highly acclaimed. Hmm. Yeah, it was um, a lovely game. Yeah, very and, well loved. And it looked a lot more finished now. Mm. Like I said, like. Uh, Psychonauts 2 was kind of like a pipe dream in my opinion. I was like, is this ever going to get done? Mm. Like, is it ever going to get made? We've heard so many production woes and mm. losses of things happening in there. But I, I like the vibe of it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into this kind of thing. I like these quirky kind of games. Mm. So I, I'll give it a go. But what about you, Nick? Do you like Psychonauts? Never played it. Okay. It doesn't really look like my kind of game. Fair but enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's not much I can say, but it looked cool. Like, the teeth from everywhere looks kind of creepy and cool. Mm. But, Yeah. What about, you? what about you, Jade? You um, I've play? only played a bit of the original, like, not the full, full Was it game. good? I never played it. Yeah, no, it, it was it was good, but I um I don't know why I didn't keep playing it. I just, I I think I was kind of doing my HSC, so I probably yeah. shouldn't have been playing it at all. But, uh, yeah, no, I... Um, psycho snorty. Psycho snorty. But, yeah, no, I'm interested in what this brings. Then they did an announcement of... All of the Star Wars Lego games coming with the gameplay trailer mm. and releasing in 2020, and um, that's cool. People like Lego. That's cool. Nick, you like Lego? You look like the kind of guy that plays Lego. <laughs> <laughs> you excited for it? I think it's a pretty big deal to have all nine movies. Nine, yes. Yes, yeah. All nine movies in there. Well, yeah, it's coming in 2020, I assume, because they want the Rise of the Jedi yes. to be a part of it. But um, yeah, I don't. Do you care? I've not got much to say now. <laughs> yeah. Then we jumped into something which was definitely in, in, interesting to me, which is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and it was a gameplay trailer. It's coming in early 2020, and I thought it was interesting. I worry about it because we had Jump Force, and I reviewed Jump Force yeah. for mm -hmm. us, and um, I didn't like it at all. Ew. Jump Force, I didn't really no. think was great. It annoyed me a lot. But I like Dragon Ball Z fighters quite a lot, mm. but this looks more Jump Force than that. So it's like I'm not interested until they until people tell me whether it's in previews or reviews otherwise or I see something that really mm. excites me I'm not into this game and I'm not gonna really give it too much time for me yeah. personally. What about you guys? Are you into you into this buff buff dudes beating each other? <laughs> um, no, not really. Uh, it's not my kind of game. Even if it was good quality, I just I don't really jump towards these kind of games. Haha, <laughs> jump force. Uh, mm. I, jump force really triggered me, so I don't think I'd get it, it regardless. <laughs> it triggered me deeply. What about you, Nick? You know, um, play with the big boys. <laughs> play with the big boys. Mm. Yeah, it was it was interesting to see that it wasn't like an RPG. At the end of it, was it revealed like it's an RPG? Yeah, kind it's of yeah, game. So which is like, enticing. Was so like, so it a fighter? Or not? Like, what is it? You yeah, travel around. But it, I think it was enticing. But that was the same as Jump Force. I like the trailer was cool when yeah. they first announced it, and then it's like. Show gameplay. Convince me why this isn't going to be like every other garbage you put out. Well, we learned yeah. that we can edit Jump Force to make it look kind of cool. <laughs> we, may, we just... The dancing animation Jump Force. No, give me dancing or give me nothing. <laughs> or give me nothing. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, then they showed off a, an indie game, which I also think did make a bit of an impact. For me, personally, other people probably weren't so hot on it. I don't know. Um, 12 Minutes. It was a story yeah. trailer. I don't think this was gameplay, but I can't confirm it. Mm. But it looked like you were like a Groundhog Day type thing. You're repeating the same thing. And yeah. bad things are happening. What do you reckon, Jade? It gives me vibes of uh, Stanley Parable, kind of. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but, yeah, I'm very intrigued. Those kinds of things do intrigue me. I usually watch them instead of playing them, but because mm. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> yeah, okay. Fair enough. What about you, Nick? You're going to you're gonna spend 12 minutes with this game? 12 minutes and maybe 11 minutes and that's it mm -hmm. no i think i think it looks very interesting it's got a good i think it's got a good story to tell as well it'd be interesting to see what happens divulging and even like the repeating every 12 minutes mm -hmm. of this situation like Groundhog day yeah i think it's interesting a game another another indie game that i really liked was way to the woods where you're lighting up your your, your mama and your, your antlers and you're sort of going away and you're trying to find your way back to the woods clearly by the title yeah. and they do say that it's coming out 2020 we promise it's like i don't i didn't even know this game but apparently it's already been announced and they're sort of like yeah. promising it's finally coming now i thought this looked delightful i'd definitely play this and it looks like a kind of game that you would like jade what do oh, you yeah. think about it yeah i'm definitely gonna try get my hands on this hmm. i i think i'd really enjoy this experience it seems really emotional surprisingly mm. even though there's probably yeah. no words so. yeah it looks like i'm the big deer and you're the little one and i'm just showing you what to do <laughs> yeah i'm gonna <laughs> please help <laughs> please help me okay. so what confused. about you nick you gonna gonna join the deer 
Yeah, it looks beautiful. It looks really charming as well. A lot of things to do with fish. Mm. A, lot of light, <laughs> a lot of light up fish following you. Do they yeah. eat them? Maybe maybe they eat them. I don't know. But yeah, okay. no, it looks looks really good. Yeah, I like the aesthetic a lot. Yeah, it's I pretty. It's fantastic. It is very pretty. Mm. It looks awesome. Cute. I don't know the developers. I don't know them, but it's coming on Xbox Game Pass. I'm definitely going to give it a go. And Anthony Tan. Good on you. Yeah, your game looks great. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Good stuff. A bigger one, <laughs> mm -hmm. which I think mm. was a really bad showing. I don't want to leg me into my words here. I think Gears of War 5 is an interesting game. I like Gears of War franchise mm -hmm, a lot. Mm -hmm. I was excited by Gears of War 5 last year. I think it was once again weirdly shown last year. Yes. With just It had a cutscene and then gameplay, but it just felt like a really elongated, awkward cutscene. I don't mm. know why they showcase that. But here we get Billie Eilish in a music video, which is just kind of bizarre. Mm -hmm. Like you, You've got a long conference. It's, it's dragging. Matt Booty's gone. We've got no entertainment here. No, I can't. But it's like, just show me the gameplay here. The game is coming out soon, seemingly. Mm -hmm. And they do announce a release date of September here. But it's like, why not just show me the gameplay? Are you, like, are you not confident in this Gears of War experience? Yeah. Mm. So they do jump in to show a CG trailer after of the new mode that they're show showing, which is um, a multiplayer game mode, Escape. And it sounds cool enough, but... I just wanted to see gameplay. Like, show me the game. Give me a big gameplay, yeah. a blowout, yeah. an overview. And yeah, Terminator, Terminator's appearing in this game at the end of the um, showing. And Terminator's in everything this year. I don't know why he is. Yeah, really spread out. Yeah. He's like, he's like bought E3. I'm still excited for the game. I'm going to play Gears of War 5. I like the Gears franchise. I didn't think it was a good showing here. I wish they showed more and showed better things. What about, mm. what about you, Jade? Do you care for it? Uh, I don't have much to say. I've never played mm. any of the Gears of Wars games. Uh, but, but yeah, I haven't seen anything new that is gripping. The developers are great. I think the game is going to be good. That's my problem here. Mm. I don't think it's going to be a bad game. I think it's going to be particularly played. a good game. Yeah. I don't know how great it will be, but it'll be a good game. I just... I think it's just odd. September 10th, it's so close. Yes. When are you going to showcase your game? It's real yeah. soon. And obviously, like on look. On the main stage. On, yeah. on like, uh, behind the main stage, I'm sure yeah. they're going to showcase more gameplay. But I feel like this is your moment to give a blowout and show people why they should buy Gears 5 and why it's a big experience and why it's the next step for Gears. Like, mm. why are we buying it? Show us yeah. instead of just... Give us a reason. Giving us... As I said, a lot of the trends in this conference is CG. It's just mm. all CG oh, trailers. It's, yeah, and it's CG. Like, Confusing when they're so soon yeah. to be released. But yeah, Nick, are you excited for it? Do you have anything to say? You're not a big gears guy, are you? No, not really. But it's it's kind of weird for them to announce a new game, like a new game mode, and then just show a CG trailer for it. Just show a hype song and a hmm. CG trailer. What was like, the song again? What song did they play? Oh, I was like, let's go, mixed with a. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was mixed with, mixed with like. Hmm? Bury your friends. Like no, that was Billy Billy that was Billy Eyes. That was that was the, no. the first CG trailer. Let's talk oh, about the second the CG. Second sorry, sorry, sorry. And it, it, was, it was like it was like sorry, you, you, you get two CG trailers, not one. You get two. <laughs> but yeah, it was like Ozzy Osbourne's like Crazy Train mixed with Lil Wayne. Lil yeah. Wayne. Yeah, yeah, it was Lil know. John, Lil John. Lil John. Yeah, yeah, like, Lil John. Like, I was just we like, oh, Lil is it going to be ga gameplay? He's like, let's go. I was like, someone tell Lil John trailer. to shut up. Yeah. No, 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 we love Lil John. But yeah, I thought it was a bit bizarre, but... No, yeah. Moving on, they announce a Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2. Mm. It looks really cool. Really, yeah. this is a better trailer than Gears of War. <laughs> um, I, th it, I think it looks yeah. really pretty. Mm. I I'd buy it. You yeah. know, I, I love a good feeling controller. Mm. You know me, like. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have any thoughts? You guys aren't really controller people as much as I am, are you? No, it Not looks comfortable in the hand. Looks yeah. clicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then a game that I loved the first one and I'm super excited for is Dying Light Two. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the first one. It's by Techland. Yeah. It's a gameplay story trailer. The release date is still up in the air. It's spring 2020. This game is definitely taking its time, and they've showcased it in weird ways a lot of time, which is kind of weird to me. But I really like the original, and I didn't think I would. Mm -hmm. I, d I don't like the Dead Island franchise. They've done Dead Island yeah. 1, and they did Dead Island Riptide, I think. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't crazy about those games, mm -hmm. but I like Dying Light as a franchise. Yeah. And I love the parkour and yeah. mix of gameplay, and that's what really mm -hmm. hooked me in. They even had a fantastic DLC attached to the first game. I forget what it was called now, but it was remember, really good. Yeah. But I just think it was a bit of a weird showing here. <clears throat> and then... um. We jump into what was probably everyone's favorite part of the conference, which was Forza Horizon 4's Lego expansion. They played Everything is Awesome, the song, <laughs> yeah. and it's releasing June 13th, so it was like pretty much a shadow drop. Mm -hmm. But um, it's cool. It's cute. I don't have anything to say. I don't play Forza. <laughs> don't I'm not a car guy, but a Forza yeah. is a phenomenal franchise. I play what yeah. I have played of it is amazing, and people swear by this. They're super talented. I just don't care. 
for a Lego expansion yeah. of this game. I like, must be so annoying. All I'm saying is, that, yeah, I don't know this because I don't mm. know anything. I just don't know who asked for this. Mm. <laughs> but it's always welcome. It's cute looking. Yeah. Uh, play with Lego if you want. Yeah. Do what you want. Make what makes you happy. It looks cool. And then we got State of Decay 2 Heartland, which mm. is an expansion, it looks like, or a DLC. Showcased a gameplay and story trailer, and it's out now. Mm-hmm. I would jump onto this. I like State of Decay 1 a lot. I wasn't crazy on State of Decay 2. I think it was too unpolished and a little bit too rough around the edges for me, and it was too similar to the original that I was just like, oh, I played enough of the original yeah. to, to really warrant me jumping into this. But this looks more like it's trying something a bit different, more story-driven. I'm excited by it because I really like State of Decay as a franchise. I wish they did a better job with State of Decay 2, but they're still talented, yeah. and it's on Xbox Game Pass today. I don't even know if it was out before. Maybe I'm out of the loop because I didn't. I jumped on State of Decay 2, paid a little bit of it. I was like, eh, it, it, this is State of Decay. And I jumped out. Yeah. So mm-hmm. this may be a reason for me to jump back in. And I, I do like this franchise. Mm. Do you, How do you guys feel about it? Uh, it's got a creepy, cool vibe to it, but mm. I've never played any of them, nor do I think I will. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think there's too many other things that I'll probably jump to mm-hmm. instead. Nick, yeah. what, what do you... You, you know, do you have yeah, much to say about it? Not a whole lot to say okay. about it. It just looks like one... And look, another one of your zombie games. Hopefully it's good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it. Yeah, I don't know if it would be good. I can't say that. Yeah, it's it got chunky boys. Be good, yeah. It's got um, very chunky boys. Yeah, it does have chunkies. Mm-hmm. Then they announced Fantasy Star Online Two, a story and a gameplay trailer, and it's mm-hmm. coming west. It's releasing spring twenty twenty. People super happy about this. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I, I, yeah, don't, no, know. I, I do not. Know I know yet. I've heard of Fantasy Star. I've heard of Fantasy Star Online. Some of the the the, the design and and visuals that were cool. I guess, yeah. It looked awesome. It did. Mm. Like, as it all the content's coming, it's exciting for people that want it. I don't know anything about this franchise. It's cool. Do you guys care? No, uh, design's mm. cool. Yeah. I agree with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. got I, to say. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> and then jumping in, they showcased... What do we get next? We got Crossfire, which was a CG, CG trailer. Mm-hmm. Surprising. Probably the first CG trailer of the conference. Oh, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. It's coming June 2020. I don't have anything to say because it's a CG trailer talented development team mm-hmm. i'm excited for the game when i get to see it yeah well that's we haven't all I... seen it right now that's yeah, cool. yeah you announced it you got it out there i'm glad you're not going to get leaked it's like the team's got it out there that's exciting for the for the team yeah but like back at their studio but other than that i don't really care yeah, yeah don't know if it's first person third person yeah. oh yeah i don't know anything about the game yeah, and look i'm sure thing, that yeah. i'm sure people would maybe do know about this but yes. I don't. Maybe we're, so, out of, maybe we're out of the loop. Yeah, just not my kind of thing. And that's cool. It doesn't have to be. Other people like it, and I'm glad for them. Totally. Then we got a game called Tales of Arise. It's a story and gameplay trailer. It's releasing in 2020. I don't know much about the Tales franchise, but I thought this was a great trailer. Mm-hmm. This actually made me go, oh, man, I want to play this game. I don't know anything about it, but I really wanted to play it. I like the aesthetic. There's a dude with a mask with no eye holes. Like, how do you see? I want to know. He senses. Yeah. What do you reckon, Jay? Did, did you like this trailer? Uh, yeah, it, it, it got my interest for sure. I um, perked up and looked at this when um, when it was starting. I was like, oh, okay. This is something I hadn't quite seen before. Uh, it's very unique style. Hmm. And looks really grand and large um, in scale. So I don't know anything about it, but I'm, I'm down to see more. Hmm. What about you, Nick? You, you're going you're gonna to jump into Tales? No, not really. Not really my game, but it looks like a big, grand game. It looks really open. It looks like Mon- Monster Hunter, like mixed with like a Final yeah. Fantasy to me, which is cool. Mm, Final yeah. Fantasy, yeah. But, but I said I don't know anything. It could, it could not be kind of like a all. Xenoblade kind of feel to it as well. Mm. Yeah, no, definitely had a Xenoblade feel. And then yeah. we jump over to we got a hype, hype, hype trailer for Borderlands Three. It was all hype, hype. It was cool. Borderlands Three is coming. I, I, Borderlands people are gonna love it. I might jump in. I like the Borderlands franchise. I liked number one and I like number two. Yeah. It's been a long time. I don't know how I'm going to feel jumping into a Borderlands experience Mm. in in today's gaming landscape. And I said, like, I'll jump into it. I'm sure I'll have a blast and it will be fun, but I don't know how long I'd stay. Mm -hmm. But it's a hype trailer. It did what it wanted to do. It hyped me up to an extent. That's its job. Yeah. And it's a. It's a looter shooter, and they're calling it, you know, get to get, get that schloot. 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 Which I don't like that. Today. I just want, I want no one to say that ever again. <laughs> I don't call it schloot. And there's a gun with legs. What can you not like? Do you guys like, what do you guys think about Borderlands 3? I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'll, I'll probably watch you play it. <laughs> you could play it with me. Like, this is a yeah. multiplayer oh, focus game, you okay. know. And I'll okay. carry you. Thank you. Mm. What about you, Nick? You want me to carry you too? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah, you. no, it, it, yeah. 
it's it's what it's Borderlands through and through. I'm just I am worried. I don't want to pick it up and feel like oh, this should have came out four years ago. Oh, I, I think mean, you, like, there is an aspect that you probably. I think that will be a case. No but what, regardless, yeah. it's going to give you what you want with Borderlands, and I think the big pause was enough to make you come back. To and it. fans love this franchise. They're devout 100%. to this. So it's, it's a. It's a, look. Number one and two are fantastic. Like, yeah, I love them. But yeah. And then we had a really exciting moment for me, which was the George R. R. Martin and From Software game announcements, which had been leaked, mm -hmm. but I'm still no doubt excited for it. Elden Ring, or Rings, I think it's Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Typical From Software fashion, really creepy, but atmospheric and epic, like Ambiguous, sort of reveal trailer. Yes. A little bit, a little bit light on what we were seeing here. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I maybe would have wanted to see a little bit more, mm -hmm. but what we've seen here is got me excited. I love From Software. I love anything they put out. I think they are the best developer next to CD Projekt Red. Yeah. So I'm excited for Elden Rings. I know you guys are not particularly souls. Nick has been playing Sekiro for our Let's Try series. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to jump into this? It's an open world souls type game. But it looks very interesting. And like always, I respect the hell out of all the From Software games. Mm -hmm. Just so much. They love, yeah. they just love their craft and they put yes. everything into it. And that's what I respect yes, about them. You can tell they, they do this out of passion mm -hmm. and love. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jay, do you you you'll be excited to see it? I know yes, you love the watch, you love yes. their like their aesthetic and you love yes, the designs. Yes. you suck. I but cannot you, play yeah. a game like this. I'm incapable. But <laughs> I, I feel like if it's an open world like Souls experience, you could watch me or Nick play it and just and be love it. Yeah. enveloped Enamored. in this um, atmosphere because their atmosphere mm. is yes. bar none oh. so good. Oh, yes. The oh, yeah. best they out there. They have some of the best mm. atmosphere. And look, it's not Bloodborne too, and that broke my heart. But, but I'm happy with Elden Ring. Hopefully we get a little bit more of that Bloodborne feel. A little bit. Maybe. I think this is more Dark Souls than yeah, Bloodborne. Yeah, reminds mm -hmm. me more of... But look, I, I'm all for new IP. And especially new IP from a developer that I think is super talented. They yes. always push the envelope and add new yes, things. Yes. And I hate when I hear people say, oh, it's just another Souls game. Because I don't think Bloodborne was that. And I don't mm. think Secure was no. that. It's always evolving its, they yeah. its style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think that they're super talented. So then we jump into Project X Cloud console streaming. I think we should leave this for another discussion because this is something that needs a deeper dive. Yeah. It does. I really like talking about this stuff. I yes. have a lot of speculation. Mm -hmm. I talk to you guys all the time about where I think the gaming landscape yeah. is going to end up, where it's shifting towards, and what we're going to get out of it. And I just think that that's going to need a deeper dive from totally. us. So I don't think we should touch on it here. Yeah. And same as they, they go on to announce Project Scarlet. Yes. Which yep. is still the just the name of it. It won't be called that, I'm assuming. It's, it's a new well. console. It's releasing Holiday 2020. That's awesome. Crazy good specs. We'll leave that for another discussion video because I have a lot to say about the specs and yep. also what I think you need, mm. what Xbox needs to bring itself yep. back from what was it wasn't a bad failure, but Xbox One didn't live up to maybe their expectations yes. and other people's. Yes. So if you guys want to jump in, but I think we should leave that for a separate discussion we video. We it's a big topic and it, I don't want to bog it down by just holding ourselves back. We should have a whole 30 minute discussion on what they should do and what we think is going to be for the next consoles and the future of gaming. Mm hmm. And then I guess the big one was they obviously showed off Halo Infinite. Um, oh, yeah. It was released, put a release of it, a releasing holiday 2020, day and date with the new console, yeah. seemingly. Um, but I think the biggest thing here is CG trailer and no gameplay. No, no. You, you talk about a new console, you tout that, it's an exciting thing, sure. But then we didn't get any gameplay, nothing seriously CG, crazy. Yeah. Mm. It was a weird trailer, personally for me, because it was kind of like, it was like they hadn't announced Halo Infinite. We seen a, yeah. the CG trailer last year announcing it and Master Chief's helmet was in the trailer. Yeah. So it's like, okay, we know he's back. We know Halo Infinite's coming. And this one's like, we get this sort of long build up. And I think they didn't fool anybody. We knew this was Halo pretty much immediately. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it's I'm still excited. I like the Halo franchise. I think Halo Infinite has great development team on it. It's going to be a fantastic game. But for a show like this, I don't think it does a whole lot for people. And I feel like... Now we've kind of come out of the hype of E3. I don't think a lot of people are really talking about it in no. a big capacity like some of the other games that have stolen the show, whether it's Cyberpunk 27, yeah. 2077, or like Nintendo's E3 Direct mm -hmm. and Banjo getting announced. Like those things are seemingly kind of overtaking, which shouldn't this. be the case. Yeah, I think. this should be the biggest deal pretty much. Yeah. And I, I think that that was my biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Takeaway from this is like, it, it's, a, it's a good CG trailer. I'm not going to say it's bad at all. No. It showcases the kind of vibe and Master Chief's back and, it, and it's a really cool, beautifully put together piece of content. I just, I don't I don't know why it didn't do more. And if they yeah. didn't have more ready, 
then why did it get announced last year with a trailer? Yes. And what are, what are we doing here? I don't know. I, 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 I'm confused. so mixed on it. Like I'm, yeah. so, I, I'm gonna play the game, and I'm very excited for it. But I'm, I'm mixed on it. Nick, what do you, what do you, what do you think about it? Yeah, look, it's it's good for the original um, Halo players. They're gonna get a big nostalgia trip as well. He's back, and it's, it, yeah. I don't know. Like I agree. Why show a CG trailer with no gameplay? Again, uh, like well. this is Again. the second CG second. trailer, and, and, and it's true. It's kind of like they. Show it's, it's in game. I don't know if it's CG. It, they do say it's in game, but I said it doesn't. Well, now we're in. I think now when it trans it transitions to when the helmet comes on, that's in game. I think. Yeah, but then it goes back to like cutscenes. You know, mm. that's the thing. It's like we saw the helmet, and then it's like no, no, he's really here now. Now we're showing him like mm. gameplay. And look, maybe they didn't announce Master Chief, but I remember seeing the helmet yeah. in the first trailer. What do you think, Jay? Did you do anything for you? Um, I mean, I grew up playing Halo. I I started playing all the Halos with my brothers, and uh, my favorite was I think three was definitely my favorite. Um, but I'm kind of I, I like I I love Halo, but I don't need it to just keep being like the craziest thing and like the next craziest uh, trailer. Like it can just show us some good quality what we love about Halo, mm. um, some good fighting, some good maps. Uh, but I think it's just getting a bit too big for its boots. See, I, I, I would disagree there. I think that Halo Infinite needs to make a statement. Mm-hmm. I think it needs to come out and be different from the last Halos. Like, I think the well, last... Yeah, different. Yeah. Like, and said, like, in a big way. I want it to be, like... I think it should be, like, open. I think that they need to show me... They, did, they didn't convince me, I don't know about you guys, but why I need to buy a new Xbox. And why Halo Infinite is a big leap or something different for the franchise. It looks like they're leaning back on their old... Friend, the old IPs that yeah. didn't work for them in the Xbox One yeah. life cycle, in my opinion. Obviously, mm-hmm. people probably love those franchises, and I do too. I like Gears and I like Halo, but mm-hmm. I wanted more. And I think PlayStation mm-hmm. and even Nintendo, Nintendo is re they reusing their IPs, of course. But Nintendo yeah. have always done that, and they always bring it differently new. Bring it, yeah. And I said whether it's they Breath of the Wild, twist. Odyssey, mm-hmm. they bring yes. something new. And PlayStation has a lot of new IP that are thriving. Whether it's Horizon or your Bloodborns, mm-hmm. or you got Death Stranding coming, yeah. got a lot of new things. Reinvigorated God of War. I don't think they showed enough for me to be convinced. I thought totally. If this is their what they're showing to be like, you ready for this new the whole new console? Yeah. Come get it with this. It's not really worked. Well, like, no, yeah. Oddly enough, it's, sorry to interject, no, but it's oddly okay. enough, it's the smaller games that are kind of making me want to buy an Xbox. Mm, it's, 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 it's Ori and it's all those yeah. kind of... But it's all those kind of games. They're the ones I'm more intrigued to buy. Mm-hmm. And so because I flock to those games. I do flock to a gigantic sh- first-person shooting action game. But I just they, they brought it with this. You know what I mean? Yeah, and overall, like I, I, I thought they were going to knock it out of the park. Yeah. I was kind of waiting for... And I don't think it's a bad conference. I think they showed a lot of cool things, a lot of great stuff here, but I just don't think it was the convincing slam dunk that we were hoping yeah, for. And I do think... With, with PlayStation out of the way. Mm. Well, this yeah. is PlayStation step down, mm. and one of the big assumptions for me is, like, they don't have enough to show this year because they're going mm-hmm. into the new console generation. They're winding down. They're going to drop your Death Strandings and your Last of Us 2. Mm-hmm. And I think Xbox is probably the same thing. They didn't have a lot to show here, in my opinion. Yeah. And they're like, oh, right, we're gearing up for a new console release. And those new games are going to come to that new console. And they're not ready to show yet. So, in my opinion, why, why come if you don't have a lot to show? And look, it's a little good conference. I'm happy to see games. The developers yeah. put their heart and soul into these experiences. Yeah. And I respect every single one of them, but that doesn't devoid me from being able to criticize where I think that this could have been a better better mm-hmm. conference, a better pacing. It felt like three hours of yes. a conference a instead lot, of an hour and 30. Yes. Yeah. But I, I don't think this was a great conference overall. I think they could have done better. It, it was better than maybe the last two years of Microsoft, mm-hmm. but not by a long shot. It should have been yes. a lot better in my opinion. Yeah. But too much CG trailers and too much talking about what's coming in the future of Xbox again when it's like, We've been waiting for the future of Xbox for three mm. years now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's time to just start delivering Bring on that. Bring the future, yeah. What do, you, what do you think, Jay? Do, do you, like, did it do it for you, this conference? Not really, no. Mm. Not at all. Um, yeah, they, they they had a big spotlight with uh, PlayStation off the, the board, but uh, yeah. they just didn't bring it. They didn't capitalize. No. What about you, Nick? Yeah, with PlayStation out of the way, I thought they were going to take the throne. I thought they were going to blow everyone's socks off. Like I was just like, really kind of underwhelming for being the one of the biggest players at E3 like as well mm. I was just like PlayStation's out of the way I thought you guys were going to rub your hands together and saying this is it we got it well, you mean, I we're going to steal it from them I'm I like, think PlayStation would be rubbing their hands together like oh, thank god we didn't go if we didn't have a lot to show because I think that exactly this was right. met with kind of a whimper mm. you know it's like oh we got Halo Infinite and we got Gears CG trailers and it's like <clears> okay it's, it's, it's another Microsoft conference with some standout indie games and some yeah. standout mm-hmm. games like Cyberpunk and Keanu but that's not an exclusive to yes. Xbox it doesn't no. it's not convincing so me shouldn't be the standout of this yeah, yeah. But exactly right overall Thanks for joining our discussion, and we've probably got a lot of things wrong. Feel free to 
nicely tell us we were wrong in the comments and correct us. That's totally cool with us. We're not experts on games. We just want to share our share opinions and our passion for it. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and thanks for coming over and watching something on our channel. Do you want to say goodbye, Jade? Uh, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, keep the discussion going in the comments below. Tell us what you thought of this E3 conference this year. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.